Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing a Beyblade review over Dragoon MSUV. I've actually um, done a review of this Beyblade a few months back, but that was the um, light green edition, and this is the normal white version. Unfortunately, this one has a few scrapes on it, but oh well. I'm going to start off with the... Um, um, the case for it. Basically what this is, is just a, um, case and you can take the Beyblade apart and then you can put the, um, um, pieces inside the designated slots. And here is the, um, black Takarotomi launcher for it. And here's the, uh, red ripcord. Just a normal HMS ripcord. Now I'm gonna take the Beyblade apart. If you can hear um, talking in the background, it's um, my family downstairs, so hopefully it isn't too loud. Whoops. That's better. Um, here is the bit protector. This one's called Dragoon Emblem. Unfortunately, it's kind of dark outside right now, so like um, the lighting in this room isn't that great. Here is the... Um, attack ring. This one's called Ultimate Attacker. I think I mentioned this a bunch in the um other Dragoon MSU video the other Dragoon MSUV video. But like I really love the stickers on this Beyblade. They look so cool. Like the um red stickers on the outside here. I like how um on the outside, it's like brown, but then as you go towards the middle, it transitions from like red to orange. And then you can see like the yellow dragon flying there. That's really cool. And the blue sticker that says metal system. I think it's kind of hard to see, but um, yeah. Here's the weight disc circle wide. It's just a um, kind of a standard weight disc. Um, and here is the running core grip flat core ultimate mode. This running core is so awesome. Um, it's like spins really, it makes the Beyblade spin really aggressively because um, of how flat it is. And like, um, not only is it like really, I mean, not only is it flat, but it's also like really wide. That's what I meant. And the wideness um, um, increases the contact the Beyblade has on the stadium. So that basically makes it um, spin faster. And also it's made out of rubber, so it like grips the stadium better. So that's cool. It's really good for attack combos. And those are the pieces once again. Let's get the camera focus. And now I'm gonna um, put together the Beyblade. Let's see, let's put that there. And the attack ring goes like that. Protector goes on. Let's turn that. There's the Beyblade once again. That's a really cool looking Beyblade. And now I'm gonna do a test launch. I'm gonna use my um, Dark Helm FX base stadium. The cool thing about this stadium is that it doesn't have any walls or it doesn't have any th like openings like the BB-10. So it's good for like um, attacks so they don't like give themselves a stadium out. Three, two, one, letter it. And that's the Beyblade. It spins really fast. I was kind of having a hard time following it. That was funny. It kept um, getting out of the camera's um, focus. But now it's kind of died out.
It's almost out of energy. Let's see. Yep, and there it was. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.